Welcome guys, this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the ninth video tutorial of PIC 16 f 886 In this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect a 7 segment display to the microcontroller. Let's first discuss the types of 7 segment displays. In 7 segment display, the LEDs are arranged in such a way so that we can display digits as well as some of the alphabets. You can see the two types of 7 segment display. One is the common cathode on the left hand side and second one is the common anode on the the right hand side in this image. 7 segment display consists of 7 LEDs for 7 segments and 1 and 1 LED for dot point. The LEDs are named as A, B, C, D, E, F and G and this is the dot point LED of the 7 segment. For the common cathode 7 segment display, all the negative terminals of the LEDs are connected to a single terminal which is shown as ground in this image and for a common anode 7 segment display all the positive terminals of the LEDs are connected to a one terminal which is marked as VCC in this image. So for a common cathode display we will connect the ground terminal of the 7 segment to the ground of the circuit and we will provide a high signal from the microcontroller to the individual LED to form a digit or alphabet. For a common anode 7 segment display, we will connect the VCC terminal of the 7 segment display to the VCC terminal of the supply and we will provide a ground signal from a microcontroller to individual pins of the 7 segment display. You can add a 7 segment display in Proteus device list by typing this name and you have to select this first package. Or you can add a common anode 7 segment display by typing this name and you have to select this package. For a common cathode 7 segment display we have to connect its ground terminal to the ground of the circuit and the remaining all 8 pins to a port of microcontroller to provide the data to form a digit or alphabet. I connect a common cathode 7 segment display on the port C of the PIC 16 f 886 this is a table for common cathode 7 segment display to form the data. If we want to display a 0 on 7 segment then we have to provide a high signal on segments from A to F and a 0 signal on segment. To make the process easy to generate the data for 7 segment display we have a tool available in micro C compiler. In micro C pro for pick go to tools click on 7 segment editor. With the help of this tool you can form the data for common cathode as well as for common anode 7 segments. I don't need the dot point for my data so I will ignore this dot point. Change the decoding format to hex. If you want to form 0 on 7 segment you will need this 0x3f data for common cathode and 0xc0 data for common anode. Let's first define a user defined name to the port C for 7 segment. Now let's define a user defined name to tri-state resistor for port C. First make the port C as an output port. I will equate the port C to 0x3f for a common cathode display. Let's first check the output of this program. You can see a 0 is formed on the common cathode display. To form a 1 on a 7 segment display you have to select or deselect the segments of the display in this 7 segment editor. The data for 1 is 0x06 for common cathode and 0xf9 for common anode. I change the data for 7 segment to 0x06 which will display a 1 on 7 segment. Let's see what is the output on simulation. You can see now the 7 segment display is showing a 1 instead of a 0. Let's make a program to count from 0 to 9. Provide a sufficient delay after writing the data to 7 segment. Now I display a 1 on 7 segment and again a delay of 500 milliseconds. To display digit 2, this is the data for common cathode, 0x5b. To form a digit 3 on 7 segment, the data is 0x4f. To display 4, the data is 0x66. To display 5, the data is 0x6d. To form 6 on the 7 segment display, the data is 0x7d. To display 7, the data is 0x07. To display 8, the data is 0x7f. To display 9, the data is 0x6f. So let's see what is the output. Hit the play button and you will see the counting will start from 0 and it will go up to 9. After 9, it will not count anything because all the instructions in our program are only for one time. We are not writing the instructions under the infinite loop. 
we have to create an infinite loop with the help of while one and make sure all of your instructions to display the data on seven segment from zero to nine are under that infinite loop click on the play button and it will again start from zero and it will count up to nine but due to the infinite loop the system will again jump back to the first instruction under the while one and that instruction is to display the zero on seven segment that's why this counting is not stopping after nine for a common anode display we have to connect a power supply on this terminal and all other eight pins are on the port of microcontroller this data value is to display a zero on a common cathode display but now we are using a common anode display we have to change this value from 0x3f to 0xc0 now we change all the values for common anode display let's see what is the output on simulation hit the play button and you will see the same output on the display but this display is a common anode display in the simulation i am connecting the data pins of seven segment directly to the port of microcontroller but for hardware we will connect a resistance on each pin of the seven segment to limit the current for the segment led you can also display some of the alphabets like a b c d e and f so this is enough for this video tutorial and in next video tutorial we will discuss a very interesting part of the 7 segment display how we can multiplex a 7 segment display. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel.